Hi my angel fairies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing, gorgeous, abundant day. I am in a different setting and um, this setting is probably a little bit louder than my other ones because I'm like right next to like a freeway, but who gives a fuck? So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about connecting with bad ancestors. I get this question a lot, like so much. So I'm just gonna tell you guys my experiences with that and hopefully this can help you out so if this does make sure you give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me and turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss a video however before we fully get into the video i wanted to let you guys know that my twilight tarot dreams my twilight tarot dreams get together bitch my twilight dreams tarot deck is coming back if you are signed up to my newsletter, you will gain first access before it officially launches for pre-order on March 1st, 2021. So today, that newsletter will be going out at 3 p.m. And you guys will have until 12 a.m. to shop those decks so you get it before anybody else. Well, get your spot before anybody else. And then the official release date is on March 1st. Keep in mind, these are pre-orders and it's gonna have everything in the description box that you need to know so you guys will know the process and everything like that. For those who are still waiting for their reprinted decks from the last shipment, your decks will be coming to me on Saturday and I will be shipping those decks out on between Saturday and Monday as well. So keep a lookout for a tracking number for those who've been waiting for a long time to receive their decks from the last one. Thank you so much for your patience. It truly means the world to me. So now let's finally get into the video. So first things first, if you never connected with your spirit guides before, I highly recommend you do so. It's going to be up here. A video to it will be up there and you guys will learn how to connect with your guides starting off as beginners. So if you already connected with your guides or you're thinking about the ancestors that you can connect with, but they're kind of like shitty, they were shitty people in life, I got you for that. Um, white people don't know how to help your ass. I'm sorry, like majority of your ancestors are going to be a little bit nuts. And I can't help you. I'm just kidding. But um, so the way that I personally deal with that was I still connected with some of them. Now, two of them, I didn't know what, what they did bad in life. So to me, those two were like pretty cool when they was when they were living. So I didn't really have a problem with them. But the one that kind of had me like, we gonna have to take a step back was my grandfather. Now my grandfather passed away a couple of years ago and um, since then he has been helping me on my journey. Um, he was probably one of the first ancestors that connected with me besides my other ancestor. But when I was connecting with him and our like relationship already took a big, huge step, even though we knew each other in life, um, when it come, becomes a spirit, you kind of like have to let them in. Like you can't be scared. And for me, I was like, Yo, spirits touching up on me no so i had to build up that connection again so i found out something about him that he did in his life that shit was very ghetto i was like i knew he was a little bit nuts but i didn't know he was that nutty so i just had i, I was like i was a little put off from him from that like i looked at him in a different light i was like I don't think I want to connect with you anymore. I don't think I, I don't want to, cause what you did was wrong as hell. It was so fucking wrong. Like no matter what time period it was, like, like now we know that shit is wrong. So the way that I dealt with it was I told him that I needed space. I needed space to kind of really um, process this emotions and to see if I still wanted to work with him and, I'll still, if I, and if I still wanted him to help me with my journey and all that good shit. So I did a lot of shadow work. I did a lot of journaling. I asked myself, like, how did I feel about this situation? Why I knew it was bad and if he knew it was bad. So after I did my shadow work and worked on how I felt about what he did, because that's one thing you have to do, work on your feelings, how you feel with inside, see if you heal from any trauma, especially if this person that you're going to connect with or um, if this ancestor showed themselves to you and you didn't call them, but you don't really fuck with them like that ask yourself have you healed from the pain that they may have caused you and all that good shit and if you haven't then you do not have to work with them and that's one thing as well you do not have to work with any ancestors if you don't want to you really tell them to scoot the only ancestors that will come to you are the ones that are probably would want to work with you and like want to help you and if it's an ancestor who low in life like treated you like shit or what kind of a bad person and yet they came and they wanted to help you 
you better ask their intentions because sometimes when they die they do go through this like rebirth and like realize that some of the shit they've done was like some fucked up shit so they probably like already knew and that's the thing with my grandfather and that's the thing i'm gonna tell you right now when i went to talk to him about this situation i was like you know you did wrong for this right like you know like this was pretty much disgusting and he knew and he was like i knew in my life i haven't done i didn't do anything that was good i made hella mistakes i made hella stuff or made hella choices that i cannot go back and i can't take back However, I know now in this moment that that was wrong. I should have never done that. And he was just telling me like how he kind of saw things in a new way. Like he just felt reborn after that. So when he was telling me how he felt and then telling me that like he knew he was fucked up and like he's going to, he, he's, he just knew, he just knew. I was like, okay, I forgive you. I personally chose to forgive my grandfather. So now he's here and he's like helping me with my life. He's a Capricorn king. So when I have business, like issues with my business, I be going to him because he brings in the money. But like, I personally chose to forgive him after I heard him out, knew that he kind of like changed after he passed on. And um, now we're just like this, like this. And, and funny thing in life, like in life, I loved him, of course. Like he was my grandfather. He was, I called him daddy because he basically, raised me like in life i would go to him and get snacks i would go to him to get money i just fucking love him but uh, and even now he like does the good shit i think he'd be the one that'd be telling me to go splurge on myself whenever i'm feeling down like go get some snacks go get something to eat. And, and then like my other ancestors like please don't do that don't do that to her but guess what i listen to so right now we're like this and that's another thing if you have an ancestor in life you weren't really close with or you didn't really connect with that well, maybe in death or like when they pass on and it come to you as an ancestor, you guys would probably be like this, like y'all be tight and y'all relationship will, and dynamic, the dynamic in your relationship will totally change and that is freaking awesome. So that is my experience with dealing with a quote unquote bad ancestor. He wasn't really bad, he just made bad choices, okay? I don't think, some people are bad, some people are straight up bad, okay? But <laughs> when they made bad choices, it's really up to you to see if you want to forgive them. And then if you want to help them work on, you know, seeing that they were wrong and like work on that trauma that they have caused. That is another thing with like breaking generational curses and stuff like that and breaking the cycle of pain and anger and abuse within your bloodline. You have to go to them and you have to do that shadow work with them in tandem with them to kind of help you out. So one of my... Um, tips for you is to see if you want to forgive them ask yourself how you feel on this topic do you feel like this is a situation that you can for can forgive them and also ask them how they feel about this situation do they know they were in the wrong or do they just not care like do they just not give a fuck um, you can also ask them you can also ask them what their intentions are with you so if their intentions are anything but love and light like not to help you or anything <clears throat> tell, them, tell them to go you they gotta go okay um i also heard another thing i forgot who said this but um one of my one of the people i follow she's a root worker she said that those ancestors who've been shitty in life or like really are really aggressive and like angry they're probably the ones who be protecting y'all the most and you just don't even know it and i kind of like that as well like those ancestors, even if you don't personally like them or even if you um, think that what they did in life was fucked up and they're a little bit aggressive and a little nuts, they can protect you when the time comes. Like, they'll be the ancestors who will go to war for your ass while the other ancestors just really worried about protecting you and, you know, helping you see you on a better path. There are certain ancestors who do certain things for you. So I highly recommend you guys do those tips and also you can choose not to work with them if you don't work want to work with an ancestor you deem you cannot work with because you didn't like the shit they done just don't work with them um i know i always i just i'm just keep telling y'all that because i always get the, this question and be like what to do if i if a bad ancestor comes or an ancestor who doesn't have my best intentions at heart comes they wouldn't come because you if you do if you connect with your ancestors correctly by saying 
no being but love only beings of love and light are welcome into my life they are welcome to guide me and lead me only spirit guides only spirit guides and ancestors who have my best intentions at heart can come and contact me if you say that as you connect with your ancestors there's no reason for bad at bad ancestors to come to you like unless they they sneak their way through but i don't know how they sneak their way through i ain't a spirit yet when i do turn into a spirit i'll come back and i'll let y'all know what the fuck is up but if you just say like you only want ancestors who have your best intention at heart there are they're going to be the only ancestors who come to you okay so don't be afraid to connect with your ancestors and think that like all of them are going to come to you no you can allow certain ancestors in your space like apparently and my family loves to tell me this apparently there's this one of my great 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 grandmothers is white she know to stay stay the hell away from me don't come over here don't come over here and you can stay there i'm sorry because um apparently she fell in love with my grandpa who was a slave how can you fall in love with a slave like is it, you, so she has she gotta stay and i and i say this i don't she just can't she can't come over here she can't come over here and i'm sorry to her. but yeah you can pick and choose who you want to come to your space don't be afraid to do so so yeah i hope this video was helpful i did ask you guys if you have any questions on this but y'all 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 didn't give me the right questions like y'all just gave me random questions and i'm like i, I said it specifically on this topic but you know it's okay y'all cute as hell it's fine so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something from it. If you have any more questions, leave them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And also, if you have any other tips for people who are scared to connect with their ancestors who may be bad, then you can put that in the comments as well. Definitely help our community and our brethren rise up. Hello? Now, I just want to remind you guys that my Twilight Dream, my Twilight Dream, that my Twilight Dreams Tarot decks will be available March 1st, 2021. And I hope you guys can finally snag your deck. Thank you guys so much for all your support. It truly means the world for me. Make sure to subscribe, turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss a video from me. And I'll see my little angel fairies later. Bye, my loves. Tell me what your name is. Tell me what you like and all your secrets. I just wanna go over the details. Let me inside of your mind. I know I just met you, but something tells me that you might be into talking to a stranger with a tattoo.